Okay, I need to start doing an update. I feel like I need to start making a video diary of progress with the band. And since I'm always on the move, this is probably the best time to do it. So, yes. Big week this week, Link Blues Americana. Been doing loads of advertising as much as possible for the gig coming up and the festival in general. It's going to be an awesome week. Hopefully the weather will turn out. If not, it's no problem because most of the stuff is indoors. Sunday just gone, we started the video shoot later than anticipated for Fatal Addiction, which is our next single. We need to get that uh, ready as soon as possible. But in the meantime, the song is coming out on the 1st of October, which frankly it needs to because we've got two songs out at the minute. We want to make it three. We're hoping to make it four before the end of 2021. Uh, we've got a couple more songs in the pipeline that are nearly finished uh, and nearly ready for release, but yeah, we've got to finish those off in preparation for 2022, which hopefully will be a bigger year. We've been doing more work with the logo and the branding as we get towards the end of this year. We're trying to really make some moves after this single release to not just get more gigs but we're hoping that we can start to establish the brand and the website more so uh, watch this space it's not ready yet we've got a website rolling but we need to spend some time in order to get it up to date and get it looking much nicer than it currently is so yeah I'm just gonna do a bit of a summary really now of uh, the year to date right so going back to 2020 me and Jem, middle of lockdown, started writing some more songs. This is a project that we'd had on the back burner but never really put to the forefront. And then guess what? The lockdown came along. Yeah, well, what else are you going to do? So we started writing more and it took priority. It was something for us to really get our teeth into. Um, what started as writing some more songs then turned into some Facebook Live gigs that we were doing every Saturday, I think, at the time. And then it changed to every Thursday whilst lockdown was still in place. And we restarted the band with a new name, Unlucky Strike, on New Year's Day 2021. I'm pretty sure it was 2021 20, New Year's Day. And started to tell people that we were ready to... We'd done some recordings and we were actually going to make this thing official. So, having done that, oops, we were uh, ready to um, start advertising the gigs that we were doing online and started to build up the Facebook following. But since then, as we've walked out of lockdown, we've really been quite busy with gigs. It's been phenomenal. For a band that was a startup that had no following prior to the lockdown, we've really, really had a lot of interest and in had some massive support from the Leap Blues Americana guys. Uh, we've got a couple of other gigs from different people who we know. It's just been amazing uh, to be able to get that many offers and opportunities. And really, we haven't, you know, it's not been about money. It's not been about, um, you know, trying to negotiate a fee. It's been about getting our fingers through the door, you know what I mean? Just so people can see what we're doing and what we can do live. And the response has been really positive and it's just going from strength to strength at the minute. So that's this year really has been the transition from playing in our spare room in our house to getting out there and playing live again, which has just been amazing. So also as well, as of this moment, we haven't actually hosted our own gig. We haven't put on a gig ourselves that has been specifically a gig that we put together it has been uh, shows that we've been asked to go along and play a slot at or do you know do a set at it's not been something we've put on so maybe i'm thinking that the end of this year me and jem have been discussing the possibility of doing our first weird to say first booked gig that we've put together and we're really excited about the idea of doing that um and we're thinking of making it a real, you know, sort of put a lot of effort into the first show to try and really showcase the three singles that we'll have out, possibly four by then. Um, and hopefully that will coincide with us updating the website and getting everything where it needs to be going into next year. We're hoping to hit the ground running next year. 
with another single that we're not going to announce yet, but we know which one it is. It's a real upbeat number, we're hoping it's going to be a real toe tapper. So, it would be great to start 2022 with a real toe tapper, get everybody in the mood for another, you know, like a better year again. And we want to really start strong, you know, with a new website, with all the branding, with everything where it should be. I need to unveil my new shirt. And yeah, so far so good. Update about the video as well. The video, like Drinking Game, where that was a sort of movie narrative based video with none of us sort of standing there miming to cameras and fake playing our instruments or any of that nonsense. Instead, we really enjoyed the results we got from doing Drinking Game as a sort of mini movie, and we're doing the same thing with Fatal Addiction. Totally different concept, different idea, but it's fun it's really fun we've got more people involved this time it's uh, already been a real laugh putting it together and i hope that you guys enjoy it when it finally gets finished and it will be worth the wait it will be uh but we'll keep you posted yeah uh that i think is going to be the theme of our videos as well the general sort of not the theme the, the angle that we go for is to always try and where possible do like a movie style video that's a lot more you know like a mini story a micro film micro film if we can do that awesome all right so we're really excited about all of these uh, updates and the story of the band so far if there's anything that you want to know about what we're doing then please leave it in the comments get in touch are you excited about us doing another gig well should i say are you excited about us putting on our own gig as well in the near future. Are you excited about Leap Blues Americana Festival, which is this weekend? Yeah? Are you excited about our new single? Are you interested in the other singles that we've got coming out? And also, we would love to hear your feedback about what you would like to see on the website. Bear in mind, our website at the minute is just a link tree, right? So it's great for now, it's like a landing page. It's got the links to the stuff we've already put out. But what would you want to see on a website? What kind of content would you want? What, you know, things like photographs, archives, gallery. Come on, give us some advice here. Give me some tips. I'm not really sure. Uh, I've got my ideas, but, you know, I'm not down with the kids when it comes to this kind of thing, yeah? So bring me up to date. What's the kind of cool kind of stuff that you want to see on a website these days? Right. With that, great getting back in touch, and we'll see you soon. Bye.